Hello, my name is Tine. In this video I'll make another tractor throttle radio control. That's a pretty small tractor, but very useful. It got winch below the casten and we use them also to run this hydraulic wood splitter. It's got only 18 horses, but after the engine was broken we replaced them with 21 horse model. So it's powerful, far enough to run hydraulic pen, but it drink much 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 less diesel than that 3 cylinder 45 horsepower tractor. So why not work economically? That tractor got hand throttle control, so in work with a splitter just set right RPM and work. But here and there comes some tough wood to split, where we need more power. So we need to go on the front of the tractor, add a bit of throttle and continue to work. Then again come back and lower down the throttle to save on diesel and noise. On big tractor I simply add another knob on back side and a few meter of wire to set throttle. For splitter or winch. Really handy upgrade. But on that tractor I can't use wire because we take off the gas and drive flocks with it. So I decided to make wireless throttle control, using remote relay and small reduced motor. But here the motor got no space for that modification, so I decided to install motor here, where I pull only the button and leave the hand control independent. That throttle stick got two functions, one is throttle control and here behind you can see another wire, which is connected to a knob for turn off the engine. So when we move the stick under the minimum throttle, it pull the trigger and shut off the engine. All that must stay as it is. So I just make some measurements and then go to my cave, where I take my free CAD software and draw some sketches. When things go together on paper, start making chips. Enjoy! This is what I got so far. It's complete unit with motor and limit switch. Every component is moving because while opening a lot of angles changed here. Now let's do some wiring.
and that's it, ready to mount. I make this radio control unit in two pieces. First one is mechanism with motor which come attached to a tractor, it got also limit switch and everything is wired to connector. Over the motor and treat I make 3D printed rubber protection, so it protect the motor and hold the grease on its place here and screw. Second unit is electronic. As I say, I use that radio control throttle only when using wood splitter, so I make removable electronic, because there are a lot of vibration and bad weather conditions outside. I built everything into a small 3D printed box with a single connector, which got connections to a motor, limit switch and power supply, so mounting is really simple, just plug a single connector and it's ready to use. After use, simply unplug electronic box and protect the connector from the motor unit. On the box I make additional holder for a mode controller, so it's always on its place. All I need to do now is mount unit on the tractor and make test. And that's it. On the end I screw another piece of aluminium over the mechanism as additional protection. Look like things were great. Manual throttle still work independent and when I need remote control just plug the electronic box and it's ready to use. Ok, system works, tiny motor is enough powerful to pull back also hand throttle stick, but... After few tests to the engine running, one of the gear gave up. I was too optimistic about that micro reduced motor, but force there wasn't that big, I think vibration caused the gear problem. So I return to beginning where I decide which motor to use, and take bigger motor this time. Then go back to my cave and start making new parts. Few of them I can use, but still need to make some new parts.
and that's the result of second try. I make it on the same way as first time because it looked like the mechanism worked fine, but with power for warm reduced motor this time. Because of bigger shaft I'm also increased street to M8 and make everything a bit stronger. Now just mount it on tractor and make a second test. Motor here is much bigger, so I need to mount firstly the mechanism and then the motor unit. By the way, I noticed that old steel wire is a bit cracked, so I make new one and install it. Ok, everything is installed and it looked like working fine, also with the engine running work without problem. I didn't try to use it for work yet, because of my back medical issues, but father say after all day of working that it worked great, but need to hold button a bit too long, so I replaced the gear motor with 300 or 300 rpm. That one got only 100 rpm, so it's really a bit slow. That's it about that project, there are a lot of ways to make RC throttle control, a lot of people using electrical actuators to do that, but they are pretty big and need some free space. Hope I give you some idea with my solutions. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.